Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yun Jung Min. With the UN a nuclear watchdog, Chief Rafael Grossi now in Japan, the IAEA delivers its final report on Fukushima, saying the water set to be discharged conforms to its safety standards. For more on the latest, our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Eunji is on the line. Eunji, what do we know about the details of the report and his meeting with Japan's prime minister? Well, Zhang Min, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Rafael Grossi, arrived in Japan this morning. And like you just said, just a few hours ago, met with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. Grossi handed over the agency's comprehensive report on the safety of the discharge procedures. It said that the IAEA finds Japan's plans to release wastewater into the ocean to be consistent with the international safety standards, giving Japan the green light for the discharge. Today, I can say that after this effort that has been carried out by the task force that I put together uh, within the IEA and with the assistance and advice of uh, prestigious uh, experts on radio protection from all over the world, including from neighboring countries, that the plan as it has been proposed and devised is in conformity with the agreed international standards. This was something that was widely expected as the IAEA has been saying that samples of the wastewater from the Fukushima plant meet international standards. In its previous six reports, the agency said it found the measurement of the wastewater to be, quote, accurate and precise. During his four-day visit to Japan, which ends Friday, Grossi will also travel to the Fukushima Daiichi plant to inspect the site and visit an IAA office there, which will newly open upon its visit. And now that the Japanese government has received the IAA report, it will soon announce the exact schedule for the release, a process that will be carried out over the next three to four decades. Unji and I hear he's also planning to be here in Seoul later this week. That's right. After wrapping up his trip to Japan, Grossi will visit South Korea from Friday to Sunday to provide a detailed explanation of the report to the Korean government. He will sit down for a talk with the country's foreign minister, Park Jin, and the chairperson of the Nuclear Safety and Security Commission, Yugo Ki. But even after the IAEA has confirmed the safety of the water, South Korea will likely continue to ban imports of seafood from Fukushima until the Korean public feels it is safe enough to consume. That's all I have for now this hour. Back to you, Tang Min. Right, that was our Pei Yunji live on the line. Thank you.